and you'll beat each other to death for someone's entertainment. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to an arena combat game called The Culling. Uh, you got loadouts that you can pick, which really makes the combat quite stimulating. Right now I have Cheapskate, which reduces co crafting costs. Yes, you can craft different weapons and such, but they have uh, a whole lot to pick from, depending on how you like to play. And obviously it switches it up quite a bit. It's Hunger Games style, but obviously you do have a little bit of say, which is quite a nice thing. I enjoy mixing up the different options, um, trying out a melee heavy build or a utility build. It generally offers uh, some nice replayability. So I will go for a utility build, I'll replace my golden arm, and uh, let's get the man tracker so I can see where my opponents are and then we'll get a backpack so we can start the match with all of our inventory slots for a hundred funk which is the currency you can get airdrops this is the stalker airdrop we'll go for the tough airdrop since we already have the man tracker uh, and the tough air airdrop comes with body armor and a sledgehammer and it's really fucking cool so let's do it right now this is the crafting menu you may pause here for all of your crafting needs you're so very welcome. Um, I start my life like a little baby veal cow. I see light out there. Maybe there's a whole world. Maybe I can be free. Oh god, I'm free. What do I do? What do I do? Holy shit. We'll put the backpack on. And you do start out with just your fists. You can uh, craft a knife by smashing a couple of rocks together. There's basically only two, three, maybe four crafting components, so they're really easy to fit together. They are tiered. Um, you make a knife and then attach a stick to that. No opponents near me. Um, and then once you have the spear, you can add another branch to make it a bow. And then you just add more branches to your bow to make more arrows. All of that does cost funk, which is the currency in the lower left. Um... You see your health, on top of that is stamina, which does act as a bit of a shield, especially for blocking. Oh look, former contestant. Thank you so much. Five more funk, five more funk. Um, so yeah, health, stamina, and then your funk meter on the very, very top, which I just increased by five. So I could find some things to smash together. Usually you'll need to look, um, not necessarily in the forest and shit. They put them on the road, I guess, to lure people into combat because most people are running down the road if they're looking to kill people, those those aggro players. Right now, uh, let's see, any botty out there? Yeah, we are killing bots, but that's, that's just fine because I actually want to win a match. Uh, if you want to see me lose a bunch of matches, there was a live stream that I did last night and that was, that was pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I don't know. Were you there? I hope you were there. <laughs> so my stamina does get go down when I'm running, but obviously covering more ground quickly is important. I'm experiencing quite a few frame rate drops also. I know that is not my system um, because I, I turned everything down to the lowest graphic settings even and I was still experiencing it. So it's basically just because it's an early alpha, but that's that's okay. I forgive it quite instantly. And there's the, the shield there's generator. Oh yeah. People are dying. They got all crafted up. I still got fucking nothing. Nothing at all. Maybe this locker has treats. Any treats? Hello? Nothing. God damn it. Hello? Anybody in here? No, I'm just probably alerting any nearby enemies to my presence by opening the doors and such. Another one speared to death, so somebody's on a fucking roll out there. My goodness. It's a gas canister. You could activate that. It's really good to flush people out of buildings and such. Uh, and it looks like nobody's been here, so we'll go ahead and check the lockers here. Mm. Oh, alarm gun. Alarm gun basically lets you uh, activate somebody's tracking collar, so they start flashing and there's a very loud voice that they can't stop 
so you can track them extremely easily, and so can your opponents for that matter. It does cause a lot of noise. Ooh, brass knuckles? That's better than just bare fists, I guess. I really like the alarm gun as a weapon. Um, it's not craftable, but it's just like the man tracker. You can get one if you spend a perk on it for your starting kit. Nothing in the medicinal box, but this place does have like three floors, so we'll just have a peek up here. Hmm. Nobody. Nothing. Bummer. It is kind of a nice vantage point if you wanted to hit somebody with the alarm gun, but uh, then you'd have to finish them off, because the alarm gun doesn't do damage. Ooh, pepper spray? Yeah, boy. Need some of that. Backpack and another alarm gun. Mmm. I don't know. I kind of want to take the second alarm gun, just because there's only three shots, and uh, if I take a second one, I'll have six. You can also use middle mouse to throw weapons at your opponent, which is really, really funny when it happens. Still way out from any... anybody. There is a big center arena, uh, which people will be flushed into, I think at like the 10 minute point of the match. So, you gotta get your, your scavenging on while you can. It's not gonna last forever. Eventually you'll be dumped into the middle with a bunch of other fucking psychopaths. <laughs> And you'll beat each other to death for someone's entertainment! <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? Oh, there's somebody coming up this way. I'm gonna get you, boy. I see ya. Yeah! Nailed! I'm gonna run up and pepper spray him. And then beat him to fucking death. <laughs> hey! Hey, Pally! What you got there? Bow and arrow? That's nice. <laughs> yeah! Come here! Where you at? Damn it. <laughs> he's spazzing out because he's blinded. I'm wasting basically all of the blind right now. There we go. Little punchy punch. Lots of frame rate drop. It's really hard to fucking control. Gribs. Gonna get jibbed, Mr. Gribs. Yeah. Brass Knuckles have that nice fast attack speed. Boom, boom, boom. Can't stand it. Ooh! Ooh! All he had was a crafted spear. Makes me feel uh, kind of sad for him. Ooh. We could go to the center arena, but I definitely don't want to. We're not geared up enough for that, even though we do have our alarm guns and our man tracker. There, I'll exchange a little funk for uh, for some HPs, which is important. You can also smash two sticks together to make a bandage. It's a pretty interesting, uh, interesting solution. <laughs> I don't think that would actually work. But I ain't no scientist neither. Oh look, there's the center arena. And that fucking copter's smoking, so that means there's somebody out here. Yep. Alright. What you doing, Bo? Missed him. Fuck. Gotta creep up a little more. Now, if this was a player, he'd fucking be right on me, shooting back already. Because it's basically pretty hard to miss projectiles flying past you, even if they're silent, like bows and shit like that. You know if somebody's shooting at you. Boo! Oh my god! This fucking asshole, dude. <sighs> I throw that gun over there. I don't fucking need it anymore. God damn these frame rate drops. Ugh. It's ugly. I'm sorry it's so ugly. I've done the best I can to make it not ugly and I could cut around it, but oh my god, somebody's shooting at me now. Holy shit. Hi, buddy. Oh, yeah. He, he almost crept up on me there. Didn't you? Didn't you, Bo? Oh, yeah. Pepper spray! Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. It's so good. I've never been pepper sprayed in a multiplayer match, so I don't know what the fuck it looks like, but... I assume it blinds him pretty good, because he's he's not doing shit. I, I assume if you get blinded, the best solution is to just fucking run in a, in a direction. <laughs> away from them. Hopefully they don't have perks that make their run speed faster. <laughs> but that does happen. Beat another contestant to death. We're a killer! Killer! It's so good. Oh. Hey, buddy. He should have seen me first, honestly. 
Damn! Got one more shot with this fucking alarm gun. There you go, buddy. And it does kind of interrupt his shot. If you craft uh, a branch and a stone together, you can make caltrops. And then if you combine... Come on. <laughs> These melee matches are just like rock, paper, scissors, pushing and shoving. I gotta go. Got fucking 32 health now. Jesus Christ. So yeah, once you get your caltrops, you can combine it with another branch to make a blowgun, which will uh, severely impair your opponent. Like, their vision is impaired, they'll be taking damage, basically poisoned, and uh, sometimes they'll even stop to throw up, which makes catching them that much easier. So, I did not craft a blowgun this match, but basically because I was depending on depending on loot, loot finds, which uh, actually went pretty well. So now I have a hundred fucking funk, and I could buy my airdrop, but first I need to get rid of this fucker behind me. Let's try this poison gas vent. Is it gonna catch up? I don't know. I'm scared to look back there. <laughs> Leave me alone! I don't want to die to you, Mr. Bot! Please! <sighs> oh, it's coming. I got a spear. No, we didn't catch him with the gas cloud either. Someone was just speared to death. It ain't gonna be me. 29 health, dude. Fuck. What do I do? What do I do? I just gotta fight him. Fuck it. Come here, bitch. You want some of this? Boom! That charge-up punch. And then you do it again! You get more time! <laughs> yeah, that's that's going okay. Oh. He's running really low on stamina there. Alright, we're, we're a fucking killer. Still on top. Top of the jungle. Holy shit. Got 18 health. That is not good. But we gotten three kills. Still alive. All those people on the board killed by the Dayton does. But also, it's it's a, a lot of game of kind of outlast and outsmart your opponents. Just make sure you're healed up before you run into a fucking fight. I've lost a lot of multiplayer matches because I'll, I'll kill one person and then see a second one. And say, oh gosh, I should totally go. What the fuck is this thing? <laughs> I want to make punji sticks, but I don't know what that is. Ugh. But yeah, bots are relatively easy to fight. Humans, you really get the pushing and shoving melee uh, action going. And basically, that's where the meat of the game is. That's that's where your heart gets racing and shit like that. But we're trying to showcase some stuff, so I'll, be, I'll beat the shit out of the bots. <laughs> that's just fine. Feels good. Feels real good. Uh, and this is taking a lot of funk to heal up, but we're almost there. Mm -hmm. Now you're all better. That announcer is so hilarious. Basically everything he says is fucking gold. <laughs> oh, it's time to call in my air. Airdrop. Tough airdrop. You can get that sledgehammer. Make sure there's nobody to intercept it. Sledgehammer, body armor, and then like... A shot buff that basically increases your damage resistance by 15% for two minutes. And uh, since the match is basically coming to its close, I think now is, now is the, a good time. What better time could there be, honestly? And there's fucking nobody out here. A hundred plus what? Yards? Miles? Meters? Inches? Feet? Probably feet. Ooh, gravity go up on them, up on that scoreboard. Got to watch out for that boy. But he's still using the spear, so I'm not actually that scared. Although all I have now is brass knuckles, but I do have full health, and the brass knuckles attack speed is fucking hard to get past, unless you're really good at blocking and or shoving. Oh yeah, there's a fucker, a fucker coming in. I bet he, I bet he on his way. I should run out there and greet him, but I won't. I wonder if it's gravity. Hmm. Am I gonna get this airdrop in time? No. Fucking 50 feet, 40 feet. All right, we gotta do it. He's here. He's fucking here. Where you at, Bo? Yeah. How you doing? Ugh. Punch that bow right out of his hands, which is something that you can do with all ranged weapons if you get up on your opponent quick enough. 
So it's a really dangerous prospect to build like a bow or a blowgun first because somebody can just knock it out of your hands. But uh, yeah, it's also really hard to get up in people's faces. Ideally, I have two, and that's what one less point in crafting items allows me to do. And there's my fucking body armor, sledgehammer. Ooh, iron for skin. I put in arms. Alright, we only got 52 health. But there's another fucker. So I'm, I'm down. I got body armor. I got fucking buff. We'll make full use of it. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Whoa! Knocked it out of his hand. Boom! Two shot. Ugh! Oh, I thought that was going to kill him. <laughs> yeah. Did you see his eye really close up there for a second? The fucking... The, the look as the life left his body. <laughs> his pixely body. Um. So yeah, I think the gas canisters should go off any second now. And flush any survivors into the central arena. Because yeah, they're, they're still way out there. I'm going to go hunt them down though. While my buff is still good. Everybody like that buff, don't they? Yeah. And I really like when the, the frame rate smooths out too. <laughs> but overall, this game is really fucking enticing. Everything about it is just super enjoyable. Look around, look at those fucking light effects and shit. Oh, oh, wow. And then you beat somebody to death with a sledgehammer. I don't know what else you can want in life. Honestly. <laughs> I'd really like to make some bandages or some shit. I don't know how much longer my uh, my body armor and my stim is going to last. So we'll smash these two fucking branches together. There we go. Some nice happy branches. And there it is, map closure. Phase one. And I think there are three phases. But phase one is usually uh, all people get to. Now I think there's going to be fucking gla gas clouds, so we should head back to the central arena. But that other fucker is still out here, and I want to find him. I want to get him. The man tracker is such a good item. Definitely um, a risk, because you do give up a perk such as running faster. If you do base run speed, and then you can also get an additional 10% run speed if you're wielding a spear. So that's 20%. You'll fucking book it faster than anybody. Oh, he's right over there. Yeah. I'm gonna get you, boy. I'm gonna get you real good. He seems to have stopped. What are you doing, fella? <laughs> oh. Oh, a little bit closer. Yeah, he's moving that way. Is it away from a gas cloud? Hmm. I can only wonder. Let us see who our opponent might be. Um, I'm late. I'm loath to fucking. Oh god, there's the gas cloud. <laughs> right on cue. Yeah, I do want to craft another fucking bandage real quick because I don't really want to go back into the center arena with 67 health. Basically, uh, two thirds of my health. That's a whole third that's missing that I could use. To kill people. <laughs> um, yep, he's still right over there. Let's see. Can I get a beat on him? There he is. Hey, buddy. What are you doing, fella? <laughs> out here all by your lonesome, are you? Well, here's this. Get that fucking bow out of your hand. No, no, like this. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fan of beating people to death. First it was the brass knuckles. Now it's the sledgehammer. See if I can craft this bandage. I'm kind of freaking out because the gas cloud's coming. But okay. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Don't you worry. Holy fuck. <laughs> Trust me. Don't worry. I'll lead us away from the gas cloud. We'll apply a little bandage. We can get up to 74 health, I think. Oh, 84. That's pretty good. Still missing 15%, but it's enough. Even if we used another bandage, it would be a waste of 10 health points. And, uh, I don't suspect the other bot is, like, super well armored. Let's see if we can, uh, find some treats. I love treats. And I think the gas does stop just outside this, uh, this little pond area. And then at 5 minutes, or 3 minutes, or 2 minutes, does it close in again? I don't know. 
it never gets that far. <laughs> Once 10 minute mark hits, everybody's in this fucking middle area, and it's pretty easy to destroy people. Oh, look. Another backpack. Kakuri. Yeah, this cool knife. Yeah, I like a knife. Don't need these shitty brass knuckles anymore. Uh, I think the slut chamber's still better than the Kakuri. I already have a man tracker. What's in here? SMG? Boy? Let me tell ya. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's real nice. Alright. You out there, boy? Are you out there, boy? I'm a coming to get you. I think he should be the, the last one by my count. So, yeah, we had like four or five when we looked at the scoreboard. Last. There he is. He's so close. Oh, yeah. He's literally right there. <laughs> Okay. Hey! Hey, fucker! You want some? Blah! Blah, blah! You die! Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah! Hooray! You killed someone else. With a gun. Hello? <laughs> Seven kills. That's not bad. There's 16 players in a match. It's a super, super fun game. I definitely hope you guys will check it out when it comes to full release. Uh, and that you'll see the Dayton does on there because holy shit! Who would have thought the Hunger Games could be so much fun? If you uh, get to pick your perks and aren't necessarily randomly assigned like a fucking fork to go kill somebody. I don't know if that happens in Hunger Games, whether that happens in Battle Royale, which is like significantly better anyways. I've been Brandon Dayton, your Hubble Narrator! I hope you'll join us for the next time, friends. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And until then, friends. Bye bye <laughs> One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, Fuck them doors. You again. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, see yeah, you, my weird. friend.